Get ready to supercharge your Android experience this October from productivity powerhouses to adaptive tools and even some hidden gems because we've handpicked the top Android apps that will boost your smartphone experience. So let's get started. This right here is an app that lets you assign different vibration patterns to any of your apps so you can easily know what app is sending you notifications without checking your phone. Also with the app you can choose from the already made vibration patterns or you can make your own vibration patterns if you want to. Plus for the few of you who always keep their smartphones on silent, you can always toggle the always on vibrate on notification switch in the app settings so that the patterns can work even on silent mode. This right here is a wallpaper app that provides you tons of minimal but beautiful wallpapers for your home screen. And before you hate me and say that this is just another wallpaper app, let me just tell you that this is not just another wallpaper app. And this is because with the app you get live wallpapers that will change constantly according to the time of day or night. Just go to the app settings and set the custom time span of the morning, afternoon, evening and night span and the app will change the wallpapers according to the time. Plus, you can also set a static wallpaper from the app if you aren't a fan of live wallpapers. Also, in addition, the battery consumption for the live wallpapers is very low since the wallpapers don't have any animations. Have you ever wished that your device could change brightness, change the screen orientation and even turn on do not disturb in specific apps on its own? Well, if so, wish no more because with the app adaptive controls, you can do just that. Just tap on the plus icon in the app and then select your preferred app and then tap save. Then again, select that same app and here just set your custom settings for that app then hit on save and you're done. Also, you can set a routine control whereby the app would change preferred settings basing on the time and the selected Wi-Fi network. Plus, you also get privacy indicators that will show up when an app uses your microphone or camera which is useful to protect your privacy if your phone runs Android 11 or lower which doesn't have this feature by default. This is Quick Settings. Now with the app Quick Settings, you can add custom tiles to your Quick Settings like a tile that would launch an app or shortcut, a caffeine tile that would keep the display awake, a camera tile and even a reading mode tile that would filter screen colors to help reduce distractions and even more tiles that would make your device usage easier and also make accessing stuff on your device easier and that's pretty much it for the app's functionality. And hey, if you're new here consider subscribing because we make Android based content regularly. This is an app called Volumey. Now Volumey is an app that lets you skip or go to the previous track by just holding down any of your volume buttons. Also, with the app, you can set whether the function should be performed when the screen is off, which is nice if you mostly keep your phone in your pocket, or you can leave it on always if you want the app to function even when your screen is on. Plus, if you get the pro version, you can assign or create custom actions for your volume buttons, such as triple pressing the volume buttons to like a song on Spotify, and so on. Also, you can select specific players that you would only like the app to perform the action on, but this is only available for premium users. Have you ever tried sticking to a routine like weightlifting or tried building a habit of reading a book every day but it seems like each time you try, you fail to be consistent? Now the simple solution is that if you use the app Habit Builder, you can add the habit you want to achieve and each time you perform the habit, you can record it in the app. And simply what you'll be doing is that you're making your habit performance obvious to you, meaning that you'll be visualizing your progress with graphs and insights which makes it easy to know how much you're progressing. And as James Clear said in his book Atomic Habits is that one of the fundamental law for building a new habit is making it obvious. So visualizing your progress is a step to creating a new habit. Moving on to the game section, this is a game called Maze Path of Light which involves a maze puzzle by which you have to move this white object to the black hole in order to complete the constellation. And the game's concept is simple but it gets challenging as you progress to further levels which is a really nice and fun game to kill time. Last but not least, this is a game called Race the Sun by which the only objectives here are obtaining the highest possible scores and avoiding crashes and at the same time staying in the light for as long as possible. The game sounds simple but honestly it's pretty challenging especially when trying to avoid obstacles and at the same time trying to reach a high score. And hey, if you want to see some of the best open source Android apps, click the video on the screen to discover those apps too. This is Hagmite and I'll catch you in the next one.